Hey everybody, Mrs. Wackel here. Um, this is what my homepage looks like. I told you guys I would record my lesson for today and put this on here just in case you missed my live uh, version from 12:30 to 1:30. Hopefully, y'all were able to get on. And if not, like if you have an appointment or something's going on, your internet's not working. Look for my video, my live video that I've recorded at night. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go to Careers Assignments. Click on that. And I have a little bit more than you do, but you should only see a couple of things. So click on Unit 1, Chapter 1, Book. This is where I have my book copied. And you shouldn't have to click on Download up here. It should automatically load for you. And most of you have uh, figured that out from my class last year. So I'm going to make this screen a little bit bigger because I have old eyes and I can't see it. That's what I figured out during this whole Rona thing. Okay, so this chapter is called Reaching Your Potential. Um, these are the vocabulary words right here, terms to learn and good. Uh, uh, these, I think there's nine here that you have to look up. Within this chapter, the next few pages as you scroll down, you're going to see, for example, here's one of your words, self-confidence. So what you would do would, on a piece of notebook paper, write the word self-confidence, and then you're going to put the definition is people are confident in their abilities. And then you should be able to take notes on this, and when you go to study for a test, this is what you would refer back to before the test. Okay, so in this chapter, you will learn how to identify strategies to reach your potential and make the most of your resources. You will also be learning why goals are important, the relationship between short and long-term goals, and you will also be learning guidelines to help you achieve your goals. Go ahead and scroll down to the next page, which you don't have to do because you see it on the screen. Okay, this section is called Making the Most of Yourself, and I kind of put a note on the side I linked a copy of the Schick Extreme uh, 3 commercial from 2015, and this kind of goes along with this lesson that I taught today in class. So making the most of yourself, I'd like you to stop for a moment and go back to the home page and click on Agenda, and I want you to watch this commercial. It's a 30-second commercial. And if you can't view the commercial, that's okay. Um, just listen along, and I will explain the commercial to you. So in the commercial, there is a guy who is not very self-confident. And remember, self-confidence means people are confident in their abilities. And he is not confident going into an interview for a job that he wants. And he has quite a bit of competition across from him. And they all kind of look the same. None of them stand out. And then he happens to change that self-confidence and hopefully become successful throughout that video after he, is, um, after he sees that some of the owners of the company have shaved their heads. Now, now I'm not saying that you should go shave your head uh, to be successful in an interview. My point is that he starts out at the beginning of the video not very self-confident. At the end of the video, he is extremely self-confident because he's found something that's made his confidence level um, be a lot better. And I'm assuming if this was a real story, at the end of this uh, story, he would probably have gotten that job. Okay, so uh, starting at the beginning of this paragraph, it says, Each day is a brick in whatever skyscraper you choose to build, whether learning a skill, staying drug-free, or making a new friend. So just like if you were looking at a career being an accountant or someone that works in finance or in banking, your brick that you would use this year is what you would learn in math class this year. And that would be like building yourself up, your self-confidence, your success up to the next level. Uh, same thing if you were going into the medical field, like if you wanted to become a nurse or a doctor you would use the science class that you're taking or biology class that you're taking this year and you would use that as a brick to build yourself up and your self-confidence. Okay, so next paragraph. Being successful at something you work for feels good. It helps make you feel more confident and willing to take on other challenges. So if you feel confident in one thing, 
you turn around and you make you have more challenges that you can meet and that feels good about your you can feel good about yourself. So Kate feels successful as a student council member. She's able to achieve goals that have an impact on other students' lives at school. You may feel successful in athletics or in certain classes. Pete's success at his part-time job helps him earn extra money and feel good about himself. It also makes him feel more confident in his classes. And I had asked the class today, like, what why would Pete feel successful at his job? And a lot of students in some of the other classes had mentioned that, you know, he does a good job. He's making a little bit of extra money. He might be able to pay for a car. It might help his family out if he gets his own car and he's able to pay for it himself. Plus, if he does a good job, he might get like a raise at, at work. He might be able to become a supervisor and make more money. So that would build his confidence level. Okay, next paragraph says, success and self-confidence go hand in hand. Self-confidence means people are confident in their abilities. They feel good about themselves and, accomplish, and their accomplishments. Now, in my book, I underline this. They feel good about themselves and their accomplishments. I believe I put something similar to that on uh, the test talking about self-confidence, so I want you to review that. If you're taking notes on your vocabulary, you might want to write that sentence down, which is right in here. So when success comes, they feel there are other things they can achieve if they work at them. They are usually ready and eager to try new things. Think of, a ta or think of tasks you weren't able to accomplish when you were younger. Maybe you hadn't learned to read yet, maybe a, making a sandwich for yourself, or throw a basketball. So think about making a sandwich for yourself. It was probably a complete disaster. Um, I can remember my kids, they, they would push down on like the peanut butter knife and it was like all over. The bread was crumbly and it was a little bit frustrating. But think of how, I can think of how successful they are now and they can bake things and my daughter's made chocolate chip cookies before and other things that are difficult and she was very successful. So, um, how did you learn to do these tasks? In the process, did you tell yourself, I'll never be able to do this? Or did you look at yourself more positively? Make, uh, maybe you said to yourself, I want to learn to do this. I know I can do this. And I'm hoping that you guys turn what you have into something more positive now and start saying things like, I want to learn how to do this. I know I can do this. If I try harder or maybe if I I'll listen more in school, I can get better in math class and I can remember things that I was taught in past years. So that's all part of self-confidence. Okay. This last little paragraph here, move toward independence. And I think eighth grade is a big year for independence for you because I think you're really going to be moving toward this. Okay, so this kind of goes along with that commercial that I wanted you to watch earlier. Um, it's a very similar case. That's what reminded me of this commercial, and this was back from 2015. Um, so when Pete first went to interview for a part-time job, he learned he was one of nine people applying for the position. And obviously there's only one job opening and there are all these other people applying for it. But he, uh, Pete was confident and he knew he would be a good employee. He tried not to be, to get, he, excuse me, he tried not to get discouraged by the com competition he faced. The positive image he had of himself was affected by past experiences that he had worked out well for him. So maybe he prepared well for an interview and he got his last job, but now he wants a different job. So he felt like he was prepared for that job. So, and it says here at the end of that story that Pete did land that job. Okay, we're only gonna read this section right here. This is about as far as we got today. Um, so think about experiences you had since you were a young child. Hopefully many of the experiences were positive and you learned to walk, talk, and understand more of your world. Even though no one is successful at everything, so please remember that, no one is successful at everything, you've probably been successful at more things than you can recall. Even small successes can help you learn to believe in yourself 
and see yourself as a person of worth. Okay, so this is all I'm going to have you do for today. So um, you can, when you work on your vocabulary, you can email me a picture of the completed vocabulary, um, or you can put it on a Google slideshow and share it with me. That's fine with me. So until the next lesson, thanks.